the fifth property is time reversal i will give you the property first and then we will prove it let's say there is a time domain signal xt and it is having the fourier transform equal to x j omega and after performing the time reversal we have signal x minus t and the fourier transform which was initially equal to x j omega will change to x minus j omega so this is the time reversal property of fourier transform and now we will try to prove this property to prove this property i will first write down the formula of fourier transform it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity time domain signal xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and as we are talking about the time reversal property we will perform the time reversal operation we will replace t by minus t and we already know the time reversal operation will be on the signal xt only don't replace this t by minus t because signal xt will be subjected to a time reversing system and we will have x minus t as the output of the system so there will be no reversal in this t here there will be only reversal in the signal xt and after this let's say the fourier transform of the new signal x minus t is equal to x j omega dash and we are required to find the new fourier transform and the new fourier transform x j omega dash will be calculated using its corresponding time domain signal x minus t so we have integration minus infinity to infinity signal x minus t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt now let's assume let's assume minus t is equal to tau this implies t is equal to minus tau and this implies dt is equal to minus d tau now we will change the range of integration for t equal to minus infinity tau will be equal to infinity when t is equal to minus infinity tau is equal to infinity and when t is equal to infinity tau is equal to minus infinity so in this way we have changed the variable from t to tau and we also have the new range of integration so we will write down the formula of x j omega dash equal to integration infinity or plus infinity to minus infinity in place of x minus t we will have x tau multiplied to e power minus j omega t is equal to minus tau so we have minus tau minus minus will become plus and in place of dt we can write minus d tau so i will write d tau here and negative sign i will write here now to get the positive sign here we can change or we can switch the upper and lower limits of integration so this will give us integration minus infinity to infinity signal x tau e power i can write e power j omega tau equal to minus j minus omega tau d tau so you can see we have the formula of fourier transform and if you compare this formula with this formula here you will find there are two changes the first change is in the independent variable independent variable in this case was equal to t you can see t everywhere as the independent variable but in this case the independent variable is tau so t is replaced by tau and just by changing the variable the final result will not change so we have x j omega but due to second change we will have a different final result if you see this formula you will find here we have omega but in this we have minus omega so omega is replaced by minus omega and because of this we will have negative sign here so the fourier transform x j omega dash is equal to x minus j omega and it is clear that x j omega dash is the fourier transform of signal x minus t so this is the fourier transform 
of signal x minus t. And in this way, we have proved the time reversal property of Fourier transform. And now we will move to our next property, which is property number six, time scaling property. I will first give you the property and then we will prove it. The time domain signal xt is having the Fourier transform equal to x j omega. And after performing the time scaling by amount a, we have the Fourier transform which was initially equal to x j omega changed to 1 over mod a and here we have j omega divided by a. So this is the time scaling property of Fourier transform. You have to remember this property and now we will prove it. To prove it, I will first write down the formula of Fourier transform. It is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity xt multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. And after this, we will perform the time scaling operation. Initially, we are having signal xt. And after performing the time scaling, we have a new signal x a t. And this a here this a here is any real constant and in this property you have to keep in mind that a should not be equal to zero we are performing the time scaling and it is obvious that we will perform it by some amount which is not equal to zero otherwise there is no meaning of performing the time scaling if you multiply zero to the time t so we have a new signal x a t and let's say the Fourier transform of this new signal is equal to x j omega dash. Now there are two cases depending on the value of a there are two cases. In the first case a is positive. In the first case a is positive. In this case the new Fourier transform x j omega dash is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity signal x a t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt. Now let's assume a t is equal to tau. This implies t is equal to tau over a and this implies d t is equal to d tau over a. And now we will change the range of integration but you can clearly see when t is equal to minus infinity tau will also be equal to minus infinity just by multiplying this a minus infinity will not change similarly when t is equal to infinity tau will also be equal to infinity so the range of integration will remain same and now we will write the new Fourier transform in terms of the new independent variable tau we will have x tau in place of at we will write tau multiplied to e power minus j omega in place of t we will write tau by a so tau by a and in place of dt we will write d tau by a so we have d tau by a i will rearrange this little bit and we will have integration minus infinity to infinity signal x tau multiplied to e power minus j omega over a tau d tau this a i will take outside of integration because it is a constant and from here it is very clear that we are having one over a x j omega by a if you compare this with this one you will find in this we are having omega here and in this we are having omega over a so here we have omega over a and 1 over a is multiplied to the formula of Fourier transform so we have 1 over a so finally we are having 1 over a x j omega over a and this is our new Fourier transform so this is the result from case number one and it is important to consider case number two as well but case number two is homework for you you have to proceed in same way considering a to be negative a is negative and you will have the time domain signal x minus a t 
and corresponding to this signal we are having the Fourier transform equal to 1 over a x minus j omega over a. Now compare the two results and you will find there is one difference. The difference is this negative sign. We are having this negative sign because of a. Here a is negative so we have negative sign. So if we consider the absolute value of a this means mod a we will have the same result. Therefore we can have the final Fourier transform equal to 1 over magnitude of a x j omega over a and we don't have to worry about a to be positive or a to be negative. The only important thing is a should not be equal to 0. So in this way we have proved the time scaling property here x j omega dash is the Fourier transform of time scaled signal x a t. So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.